Top one, yes, you're sir. back in Chicago. It's my pleasure to interview you again. How are you feeling? Good, it's a pleasure to to be here again. Every time I think it's good for me to be here where there are like uh, big events like that. You might as well just go ahead and move to Chicago, right? Oh, I need uh, maybe someone, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I understand that. Now tonight is an, an epic event. Paul's been talking about this event all year, about how big it's gonna be how epic it's going to be, how grand it's going to be, and you're going to grace the stage tonight again, right? So what's your performance going to be like? I will try to do my best. Yeah, you know, best than the one you saw last time. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I think um, it's going to be a good thing if I win too. <laughs> yeah, I think you got a good chance. You're an awesome performer. You know, your music is great. You know, you've got fans that are coming out today to see you perform. How, how does that feel, knowing that people will come back time and time again to see you perform? It's every time a pleasure to, for me to perform, you know, for everybody, because I want people to discover my music, to know it better, you know, uh, it's on sharing my message, because in my music, I, I don't have only the show music, you know. I have uh, music to listen to, because I have a message to 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 give you know in people and it's a great message. DJ Crispy, you're my new friend today here at the Afro Entertainment Awards. Tell me about your artistry. Ah, like, uh, so I'm DJ Crispy. I'm from France. I'm official DJ for Africa Number One or Africa Numero, numero One. It depends how to spell it in French or in English. And also official DJ for Radio International France. So, so now I'm here today for Afro World, and uh, so I hope also, let's say, to win also for the world. So, so tonight is the award show. What will you be? Are you, be, will, are you nominated for an award? Are you? What, See, what brings you out tonight? Yes, I'm nominated for category Best Afro DJ, and so also I'm here to uh, for also the after show, and so I'm going to mix and to show people how we do the job. So that. You're going to show them how it's done. Exactly. Okay, I like it, DJ Chris. He's a little cocky, huh? I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Well, we look forward to seeing you tonight come out. We look forward to cheering you on and rooting for you. Thanks for talking to me today. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure for me. Yes. So. Are you from Chicago? No, I mean, originally from Ghana, but yeah, based in Chicago. Yeah. Based in Chicago. Okay, what brings you out to the Afro Entertainment Awards tonight? Well, basically, you know, we've been doing this music thing in Chicago for a while now. And, you know, um, it's nice to have people that appreciate the work you know, that we put in into the entertainment business and, you know, just reward us by, you know, putting up a show like this. So I'm here to show support just the same way they're showing us support, you know, so that's why I'm here. How do you feel about um, the producers of this show, you know, acknowledging, you know, African music and talents, you know, separately, you know? I think it's a really good thing. You know that they've started you know and I know this is like this is the third one and it's getting bigger you know so once you, you notice something getting bigger from the first time you know it's something positive you know so you have to keep supporting it and you know I appreciate them doing it and I'm sure the community does too and that's why we're here yeah exactly. well I thank you for talking to me what's what kind of projects what kind of things do you have coming up that people can stay in tune with we're working on a mixtape right now the second mixtape sketchbook two um, should be dropping pretty soon, working on a video too, so uh, for Turn Up, my, my newest single that I'm going to be uh, performing tonight. Yeah, so just look out for that, people. Awesome, we look forward to seeing you, okay? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Fantasila, beautiful name for a beautiful woman. How are you feeling today? Is you're in Chicago, warm, beautiful day for the Afro Entertainment Awards. How are you feeling at this moment right now? Oh, I'm so excited. It's the second annual Afro Entertainment Awards. And some of my favorite um, musicians are performing, Gwai and Goddess. So, yeah, and I'm really excited to see what's going to gonna happen. Tell me about you as, a, you as an artist. What do you do? Sure. Actually, I'm the CEO of Fantasila Creations. 
I do have my first branch in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, which is exciting. I am located here in Chicago, so I'm a, a jewelry designer, a fine artist. I sing with Phil Corinne, the list goes on. I keep talking about myself. <laughs> I'm also a Reiki energy healer and a henna tattoo artist. Actually, I'm also I'm doing the African Festival right now, so you guys can definitely come out and check that out. But yeah, some so awesome things going on. How do you feel about the producers of the show and what they're doing tonight in this capacity? Oh my goodness, so they are really setting the scene in Chicago because this is an untapped market. Like, I was in London for the Guba Awards, the, the uh, what is it, the um, excellence mm -hmm. of Ghana. And so, but Chicago, I mean, where is our TV station? Where is our radio station? Mm -hmm. they're, they're holding it down for the radio, Ja Ghana. But uh, we definitely need more of this. And not only just an African presence, but the African-American presence and the African should definitely join forces in the entertainment business. So, but they're definitely doing a great job. So. Well, this is a great start, right? You look radiant. You enjoy the rest of your night. And it was great talking to you. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Gwai here at the Afro Entertainment Awards. Tell me what brings you here to Chicago, here at Washington Cultural Center, for the Afro Entertainment Award. What brings you out tonight? Music desire, baptized by fire. May I get to say music desire, music. Yes, I music brought me here. I'm nominated for the best male vocalist, Gwai Thy Word. So. That's the whole energy, you know. Um, apart from that, you know, I've, I've, I've uh, participated in the Afro Awards before. The first one, 2011, I was here. So it's a movement, you know, still um, dealing with my people. So I support the movement, but rather than that, because I'm also nominated for the vocalist team. I'm here with Mr. Popularity, also known as Reason. Where are you from, Reason? I am from Ghana, West Africa. Where do you currently live now? I'm in Chicago. I live in Chicago right now. How awesome is it for the Afro Entertainment Awards to salute... Um, artists, performers, you know, um, entrepreneurs, etc. of African culture. How awesome is that that they salute you? Oh man, this is this is amazing, right? It's amazing. It's a good platform for artists and for uh, Africans uh, Africans in the diaspora. So um, it's good to be notarized. It's good to be you know uh, rec recommended. It's good to be um, nominated uh, as I am for two awards. So and it's good to also perform at these shows because uh, it gives us a platform to get our word out, to get our um, what we do. It's good to be appreciated as well. So it really means a lot to me as an artist and as a person as well because it's focusing on um, Africa and Africans in the diaspora and recognizing every aspect of it from restaurants to hair, fashion, and to the entertainment. So uh, I'm really, you know, it, I, I usually look forward to the Afro Awards because it's one of a kind and it appreciates us as artists as well. So definitely. Now you're both high fly tonight. Tell me what you're going to do on that stage today. Oh man, I'm, I'm going to bring the stage down. Uh, anybody that knows Reason, you know, I, uh, I come out and I perform. I, I put on a show because uh, I like to entertain and... Um, it's going to be a massive event. If you're not here, you're going to miss it. Um, and you probably have to buy the DVD. So <laughs> next year, make sure you make it. I'm not sure if I'll perform next year, but definitely. Speak um, that thing into existence. You'll be here next year, right? <laughs> I'll be here next year, definitely. I'll be here. The performance is the only thing. But I'll be here. I'll make it happen. You know, you already know. It's your boy, Reason. Yep. Thanks for talking to me today. Right, I appreciate it. We're here at the Harold Washington Cultural Center for the Afro Entertainment Awards. You just told me that you're performing tonight with one of the nominees. So... Isn't that a great opportunity tonight, right? How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling very positive. My energy is very high, and we're just going to give it all we have. Tell me about your, your artistry and your music. How long have you been performing? I've been performing and singing and writing for over 10 years. Um, it's in my, in my family lineage, doing music, musicians, um, and my music is very positive. It has to have a message um, for the people. What do you want to say to the producers of this show for, you know, for acknowledging um, African artists, musicians, talents, etc., and giving them a platform to be uh, saluted, awarded, and to perform? I would like to say thank you very, very much for that because it's such an opportunity to have some organization looking out for the artists that are trying, the artists that, you know, are internationally already recognized, and to come to Chicago and bring this about is just a wonderful opportunity, and I would like to say thank you. Yes. Where are you originally from? I'm originally, I'm first generation Jamaican, born here. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Well, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you perform out there today. Okay. <laughs>